Hello friends, so is your check engine light on with code P0470? If your car is experiencing poor acceleration, black smoke from the exhaust, or low power, this code could be the reason. In this video I'll explain what P0470 means, its symptoms, sensor locations, and how to fix it. Let's get started. The P0470 code stands for Exhaust Back Pressure Sensor Circuit Malfunction. Your vehicle's exhaust back pressure, or EBP, sensor monitors the exhaust pressure and sends this data to the ECU, which is the engine control unit. This helps control turbo boost and emissions. When the ECU detects an incorrect or missing signal from the exhaust back pressure sensor, it triggers code P0470 which you know, can lead to reduced engine performance and even some emissions problems. So, here are some common symptoms of P0470. You might notice the check engine light is on or maybe there's a loss of engine power or sluggish acceleration. Sometimes you'll see excessive black smoke coming from the exhaust or just poor fuel efficiency overall. The engine might even run in limp mode which basically means reduced power to help prevent damage, and honestly, ignoring this code can cause some serious engine and turbo issues over time. Now let's talk about where to find the sensor and related components. To diagnose P0470, you'll want to locate these key parts. The exhaust back pressure sensor, or EBP sensor. It's usually mounted right on the exhaust manifold or on the exhaust pipe just before the turbocharger. Alright, let's dive into the exhaust gas recirculation or EGR system. You'll find this near the intake manifold and it works hand in hand with the EBP sensor to keep those emissions in check. Now, if your vehicle has a turbocharger, it's connected to both the exhaust and intake systems. This little marvel helps regulate airflow and back pressure, making sure everything runs smoothly. Moving on, we have the wiring harness and connectors. This runs from the EBP sensor right to the ECU, delivering those crucial exhaust pressure readings. Here's a tip for you. The EBP sensor is commonly found on turbo diesel engines, especially in trucks and larger vehicles. This is something to keep in mind if you're working with those types of engines. Now let's talk about some common causes of that pesky P0470 code. First up, a faulty exhaust back pressure sensor. If this sensor gets clogged or damaged, it just won't send accurate readings. It's a pretty common issue, so it's worth checking out if you're seeing this code pop up. So, first up, we've got carbon buildup in the sensor hose. Over time, soot and carbon deposits can, you know, block the sensor line and cause all sorts of trouble. And then there's damaged or corroded wiring. A short circuit, a loose connector, or even a broken wire can totally disrupt the sensor signals. Next, let's talk about exhaust leaks. A crack or leak in the exhaust system can honestly cause incorrect pressure readings for the sensor. And, well, sometimes it's actually an ECU software issue. Some vehicles might need an ECU reflash or update to make sure the sensor is calibrated properly. Alright, so, how do you fix a P0470 code? Step 1, use an OBD2 scanner to confirm the P0470 code. Step 2, locate the exhaust back pressure sensor and check for any physical damage or loose connections. And then, step 3, inspect the sensor hose for carbon buildup. If it's clogged, go ahead and clean or replace the hose. Alright, so step 4 is to test the EBP sensor with a multimeter. If the readings are incorrect, you're gonna want to replace the sensor. Next up, step 5, check for exhaust leaks by inspecting the manifold and exhaust system for any cracks or damage. Moving on to step 6, make sure to verify the ECU functionality. If all the components check out fine, you might need to consider an ECU update or a reflash. And finally, step 7, clear the code and take the vehicle for a test drive. Reset the ECU and keep an eye out for any performance improvements. So, just to sum it all up, the P0470 code is usually caused by a faulty back pressure sensor carbon buildup or exhaust leaks. Fixing this issue helps ensure optimal engine performance, better fuel efficiency, and, yeah, reduced emissions. If you're looking for more car troubleshooting guides, definitely check out these videos next. There's P0214, which covers cold start injector circuit malfunction, and P0215, all about engine shutoff solenoid malfunction. 
Hey, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to IG Garage for more car repair tips. Thanks for watching and see you next time.